Good morning, good morning, what's happening? So I'm super stoked today, it's Saturday, I'm grinding, I'm getting after it like always, I got two deals I'm putting together, and I'm gonna teach you how to call the owners around a listing. Oh man, like a granite. this is gonna be... <coughs> wow. Come here, little bird. Come here. Give me that pizza crust. Give me that pizza crust. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'll be back. I'll be back for you. You watching? Huh? You watching it? Good, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Chad working the front desk. He says he's been watching the coaching stuff and loves it. All right, so here's the office. Well, nobody's here today because it's Saturday and plus Christy went on vacation. So, it's just me. Hello, anybody here? Nobody. Okay, so last week I closed seven properties and we cashed them all in yesterday and deposited a hundred and fourteen thousand dollars a hundred and fourteen thousand so that's a big number i'm super excited of course you know a lot of it goes to taxes and then i have this to pay for and that to pay for so it's not like you get a hundred and fourteen thousand dollars to do whatever you want to with it but it is super exciting. I take that money, I invest that money, I invest it back into you with my coaching program. I'm putting a lot of money there right now because I believe in you and I really want you to succeed. I also invest in properties. I have two other partners. We buy, fix up, and flip properties. We've bought and sold maybe 15 houses over the last year. Here in a little while, I'm gonna take you with me. We bought one yesterday, I'm gonna show it to you and then we're gonna drive up and look at one we almost have ready to go on the market. Just my reaction to hitting the $114,000 paycheck in a day is, you know, to me, I'm always moving forward. I want to know what's next. I don't care about what I just did, what I did yesterday, what I did the day before. I get excited about what's next. What am I going to do now? But Thursday, Thursday at 3 p.m. Central, I'm going to put a link in the bio for you guys to, to get notified when I go live right here on this YouTube channel. I'm going to make calls. I'm going to make live calls. I'm gonna do it around a listing that I have. I wanna share with you right now what my strategy is gonna be going into these calls, what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna say it. Okay, so let's talk about these calls I'm gonna make Thursday. I'm gonna call them up and you know, I'm gonna ask them if they're doing all right. I'm gonna see if they're enjoying the days and they're gorgeous, have they been down the beach, something like that to loosen them up. I'm gonna tell them that I don't wanna take up too much of their time today, but I have the lowest price listing in their building and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for them today. And I'm gonna see how they react, okay? That's the name of the game. You throw it out there, you see how they react, and then you react accordingly. That, that's gonna be my strategy. As I'm going into the calls, and I use that reason, hey, I have the lowest price listing in your building, didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you, I may make three or four or five calls and decide I wanna switch that up. I might wanna throw the price of the listing in there. Or, you know, I might want to take it completely out and just say, hey, I have a listing in the building. Or, you know, I, I may switch it up as I go. That's the name of the game is adapting. So definitely join me this Thursday. I'm going to make these live calls. I'm super stoked about it. I can't wait. Any of you that have watched all my other videos of me making calls, you'll see how I'm calm, cool, and collected and confident. Guys, it comes from experience. I've made 100,000 calls in my career. A lot of you are reaching out to me and saying how you've made 100, 200, 300 calls, or you've been calling for one or two months and the results have been this. People are hanging up on you. You got bad numbers and all this stuff. To be honest with you, I, I love hearing all the feedback and everything. You know, I want you to send me those messages so that I can encourage you further, you know, uh, out of those slumps and out of those negative mindsets. But here's the thing, until you've actually made calls for years and years, you're not gonna get this stuff overnight. It doesn't happen quickly, okay? It's, it's a skill that you develop over time. 
I'm still getting better. I've made 100,000 calls over 16 years and I'm still learning, I'm still adapting, I'm still growing. The market changes all the time. There's always a different environment that you're calling in and so you, you, you're not always gonna have the same exact scenario that you're calling about or around or you know, it's just gonna be different every single time. So what you have to learn to do is, is just go with the flow of whatever is going on in the market, who you're calling, what they say, what their mood is, and learn how to turn it around by making them feel comfortable. Okay, so I got two offers going on right now. One is on a condo that we were asking, 199. Yesterday, two days ago, I got an offer for 188. The seller counted yesterday at 195, and the buyers counted late last night at 191. So we're $4,000 away on this one. I just called the seller and left a message. She didn't answer, so um, she'll call me back and we'll see what she wants to do. So the last comp uh, comparable to hers was 185, but there was a condo that I sold for 195, a little closer to the beach in the same complex. So. I think we're getting close to what it's probably worth. Um, then the other deal I'm working on, uh, I got an offer late last night. We're asking $429.9 and they offered $400. So I just pulled that offer up and basically I haven't submitted it yet. I'm fixing to call the owner. Okay, so I'm gonna give him a call. See what he thinks about this. Hello? Hey Clayton. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good. How about you? Good. Go Tigers. I feel you, man. Which, which, ti which Tigers? <laughs> LSU Fighting Tigers. I got you, man. I got you. We're on, we're on our way to Baton Rouge in about an hour. Oh, nice. Who who y'all playing? Southeastern Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, you know, we paid our dues last week, so. Right. We week off. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, check it out, man. I got an offer. Um, okay. It's for 400 is what they've offered. Okay. Um, right. I'm looking at the market, okay? Yeah. Um, nothing. Now, I'm talking about East, East 2, 6, 7, and 8, okay? All five All right. buildings. There hasn't been a two-bedroom that is sold in three months. There's nine for sale, okay? Okay. The last two-bedroom at Phoenix 8... Sold for three ninety two back in February. All right. You know that four and a quarter is that our number? Yeah, we're asking four and a quarter. So, you know, I mean, my advice is 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 uh, the market slowed down a lot. There's a lot of inventory for these two bedrooms like this. The last one in your building went for three ninety two. I just think uh, if you want, if you really want to sell it, then we should we yeah you know, I, I think we should counter, of course. But we we do need to try to figure out a way to make this work if we do want to sell it this year. This may be okay. this could be our last good opportunity. You know, you never know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me talk to my partner, and we'll give you a uh, a number to okay. go back with. All right. And uh, I'll uh, get that. I'll probably text it to you today. All right, it's a really clean offer. It's a financing. They're gonna put like 120 or 130,000 down. They're gonna close October 12th. Uh, they want it furnished. They're gonna do an inspection. They wanna see the HOA stuff. It's a really clean, you know, sure. standard deal. So yeah, okay. just, yeah, just text me a number and then I'll go back to them and we'll see what we can do. Good deal. Yeah, man. Thanks, Ricky. Yeah, All thanks, right. man. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so um, explain the situation to them, uh, advise them the best I could, explain the market to them, you know, and you never know. Okay, so I have a 321 Club winner. I'm gonna call right quick. Um, so 321 Club, for you guys that don't know, it's a way to win a free call with me. 
Um, you can pick my brain on whatever you want. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram. I'm picking winners every week, just free calls, just to talk to you guys and see how you're doing, see if there's anything I can do to help you and, and really dig into your specific questions. Because as I'm doing this free coaching, you know, it's real easy to just throw general information out there, but unless I actually talk to you, it's hard to deal with your specific situations and specific questions. So follow me on Instagram, turn post notifications on so you can get notified every time I post and comment hashtag 321 club and let's have a conversation. Hello. Rhonda. Yeah. Ricky Carruth. Oh my goodness, how are you? Good, how about you? <laughs> I'm doing great. I didn't expect to call so quick. I know, I know. I just have to do this when I can, you know what I mean? No, that's great. You're so efficient at everything. What can I do to help you? I was kind of trying to figure out where do I start. I like to really focus on something and really master it, you know, before moving to something else. To, to do what you want to do, to help mm -hmm. people in your community and all that, you have mm -hmm. to be kind of selfish at first. If you can't put yourself in the place that you want to be, then how are you right. going to help other people do the same thing? That's right. And you just right. have to tell yourself, this is what I want. See, your, right. your, your goal, what you're talking about is a goal that should take you the rest of your life. Well, and here's the other thing I'll leave you with is like referrals uh -huh. and stuff like that. That's not a growing business. That's just maintaining, yes. you know, like yes. you're going to do the same numbers every year when yes. you're just living off referrals and past clients. Yes. Unless you're talking to new prospects all the time and grow and growing that sphere, bigger and bigger, right. you know, right. um, mm -hmm. you're not, you're not growing. You're just kind of just maintaining your job is to create relationships, relationships. with these people. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. do the weekly email so that once you connect with them, then the weekly email keeps you connected with them forever. It keeps you right in front of them every single yeah. week. And you already right. have the base. Like you have all yes. the clients and past clients and referrals. Get all those yes. people into that system. Get them getting that weekly email get that foundation set and then just start building it from there. The thing is, is you're, you're on a journey to build that database bigger to get those mm -hmm. weekly emails out. But, but, right. but the, the byproduct of putting that work in is you're going to run into a lot of people that want to do business right now. But I do appreciate your time and yeah, for uh, sure. really happy and excited to talk to you. And I do appreciate, uh, everything you do for everyone else because there's so many agents that follow you okay thank you so much thank you have a great week you too uh -huh. bye, bye 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 so yep if you guys want to call like that just uh follow me on instagram turn post notifications on comment hashtag 321 club under all my posts i'm picking winners all the time so let's go to the beach <laughs> Okay, I got a call from my seller on that uh, offer that we got for 400. They want to counter at 419.9. They're actually asking 424.9, and we got an offer for 400. They want to come back at 419.9. So I'm about to call the agent on that one, let them know about that counter, and see where that bar goes. Hey, Reggie. Mike, what's up, man? Hey, I'm dropping my wife and daughter off at the cruise terminal. Let me call you back in about 10 minutes. Hey, they came back at 419.9. Call me back. Okay. All right, bye. Thanks. He didn't sound too happy about that. What can you do? You know what I mean? It all boils down to do they want to buy, do they want to sell? You bought that RV house, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bought the house. I just didn't know if you were, uh, if you texted me that yesterday or whatever. So what's the, so what's the address of the house we bought yesterday? No, I'm not sure. Um, Beaver, in that Beaver Yeah, yeah, I know where it's at. I just don't know the address, and neither do you. We own properties we don't know the address to. <laughs> yeah, dude. I saw you. You've been killing it, man. I, I saw you on the thing. I saw you listed that that house that you bought in Beaver Park. Yeah. Um, how that? How'd you get that relationship? But I don't have anything for October. I'm trying to nail two. I got two deals I'm working on now for October, 
I already have another one for October. It looks kind of shaky though. You have peaks and valleys, you know? It's not always gonna be roses, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you remember earlier this year I was worried because uh, I was low on my, under, on my pendings? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, you thought the coaching was getting in the way a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was I was a little bit stressed out, but not too much, just a little bit of pressure, you know. And I did what you're doing. I just got back on the phone and started trying to really focus on, you know, deals. Hey, hey Mike, what's up? Uh, uh daughter and uh Taking a little cruise out of so I dropped them off. Nice. Right, right at the drop off point when she called me. Yeah. Uh, so four, wow, 419, huh? 419.9, nine, yeah. That's just, that's, the, they, that's just their counter, you know? But uh, just get him up there and let's try to make it work. All right, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Thanks. All right, thanks, man. Bye. Okay, guys, so. Looks like we bought this one yesterday. We bought this for 160. We'll put about 10,000 in it, sell it for 200. <sighs> nice brick home. Looks like a big backyard. Wow. Okay. That's the neighbor's yard where that fence comes out. But still, look at the size of this. Well, aren't you impressed? This place is gorgeous. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Another day, Bob. Wow. Oh, it's like this is how we do it. You beautiful spot in the garage. They just strode all this all around and said, see y'all later. They, they said, wrong you, you know? <laughs> did they, did, you think they did this like, cause they were mad? I think this is, that, you know, this looks like how, this is, this looks like they were living like this. That's what I was gonna say, I have seen people that live like They got some flooring over here. Oh yeah, we already found that. <laughs> wow. You already found it. <laughs> Bamboo. So this is I the. I don't see the sex games thing now. This is the master. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. I know. Hey, 52 sex. See, 52 sex game right there. Sex games. So the shower looks uh, okay. I want to take a bath. I love like this stuff. Just needs cleaning. You know, it's not. No, it looks oh, clean to me. It's horrible. Hey, here's the rest I'm showing you. The what? Oh, it's got some bad spots. Oh, I got you. I got you. I know I see some water. So clean it up, paint, floor. Yep. Appliances, because the countertop in the kitchen looks good. So oh, they man. Like granite. This is going to be. Wow. It will take Lord Wayne Jones about a, um, a day. Goodness. This is, I don't know what that is. Ripley's Believe It or Not. No power. Oh no, uh-uh. And New Salem fans, probably new light pictures in the bedrooms. What are we gonna spend? Um, cause see, this counter top doesn't look bad. And the cabinets either, they just need cleaning up. Okay. So it might not be. Oh, there's your cake yeah. dish right there. I knew you needed that for Christmas. Yes. Yes, the cake dish. Yes. We're gonna save that. Now you're See what the AC looks like. Doesn't look too bad. It might work. So we'll throw some uh, 
We'll throw some paint, some new floors, clean it up real good. Probably five or 10,000. All right, I'm going to Chestnut. So, you know, that was pretty, pretty trashed out, but that's what you get. That's what you get when you buy these houses like this. Oh yeah, running around. So we got this house for 200,000. It's right off of 59, which is the main road that goes down to the beach from Foley. And it has a mother-in-law suite in the back with a pool in the middle. Look at this place, it's like an oasis. Hey, man. What up, man? How you doing? Doing well, how are you? Good, 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 good. Where is he? There he is. Oh, Phil and LJ. No art working here. Is he going to tell on him? Yeah, he's... Were you on the Ricky yesterday or Dusty? I sent him a picture. Huh? I told him I sent y'all a picture. Yeah, I'm going to that right there. Yeah. I mean, it's usual, man. See the rafters, we can close them. Look all that shit, man. So you tore all the windows out of this? Oh, man. Oh, this out. This out of ceiling on it. And cap those. They get a lot of it. That's what they do. That's the work. Yeah. Okay, so I heard back from the agent on the offer. He sent me a text. Um, so let me tell you where we're at on this one. And they're coming back at 4.05 and saying it's their final offer. And if we don't take that, they're gonna move on to another, another property. So my seller's at a football game, so I'm just gonna text him real quick and just let him know that and that way they, they can think about it you know probably after the game probably not going to hear back from them but we're about to go eat lunch all this happened before lunch today so i hope you guys got a lot of value out of this episode and we'll see you thursday three o'clock central live calls